want a generation to hear your voice is more than posting videos on social media. Now I'm saying this respectfully speaking. I want to help my precious generation get out of that garbage and invest in the spirit. It takes more than just telling people I am here. There is a track record in the spirit. Let me tell you, if heaven does not sign upon your life, you will waste your time for nothing upon the earth. You believe that people will just come and give you finances like that? Everybody will not dash you. You have to understand the financial system of the kingdom. God can raise men to support you. But you believe that men will be the ones to run your, your life financially? Go and find out how finances work. And bring rest to your life once and for all. The anointing, you need to go and stay with God find out the various wells in the spirit and the skill to fetch and draw from them mm. not every well works the same way just because you learned how to fetch from a particular well the bible says wells of salvation there are different skills to fetch so you will see people who are operating at different frequencies in the spirit is because they have mastered how to draw from the spirit Hallelujah. The sacrifice of fasting, the sacrifice of prayer, the sacrifice of honoring the voice of God, even at your inconvenience. I cannot have told you, I don't know how many times God has given me painful instructions. Give this, empty this, do this. And sometimes it does not make sense. I shared with you my story last year. When God gave an instruction to sow a seed, I knew that a season was coming and God was opening me up. It was a new dimension in the spirit. I've taught you how to discern when seasons come to an end. An unusual desire to pray. An unusual desire to give. Unusual attack from the kingdom of darkness. These are signs that tell you a season is coming to an end. You don't want to be around people again. Something just isolates you to be alone is because the master wants to speak to you. And if you don't understand these writings, you will keep wasting your time. There are things God will never tell you in public. You need to painfully know how to stay alone. Then his voice comes. Hallelujah. And God gave me an instruction. First, to bring a serious seed as a ministry and to sow. That seed itself was, I can tell you sincerely, at any level it will touch you. And then, then came the bigger instruction. And I'm saying this because I want you to understand. It's not to brag at all. God now told me that what I told the ministry to give, you give twice that amount. Huh. When you give Ishmael, you can drive him in one day, go away. But when God says to give Isaac... It will touch you all. Isaac will touch you. Isaac Ba will touch you. But you see, I've walked with God a bit. And I know that every time God says, open your hand, it's not because of what is there. It's, about, it's because of what he's bringing. And with that sacrifice, I, I rejoiced in my pain as I honored God. God forbid that he will speak and I will not listen to him. Ladies and gentlemen, the rest is history. Another dimension opened for me that till forever. Listen, people do not just rise. The sacrifice of paying the price to build, are you willing to go through it? For someone, God can just call you and say, every night for the next three months, I want to meet with you. 12 to 3 it is me and you alone that is my covenant for the next three months it may not be for everybody but it's part of the preparation to bet and if you may even be a businessman that's what will surprise you and say god go and talk to them apostle and the rest and leave me in peace i thought you would teach me how to make money he's preparing you because when those billions come demons will say where did the money go to and they will follow your business and say we are here the king of Tyre just found out that something left heaven and did not pass through him to you. And so they will have to come and vet. 
And so God can tell a businessman, for three months you are not talking money with God. You are fasting and praying and building capacity. Afterwards, a door of business will open and by the time people think you are just wearing suit and tie, they do not know that by sacrifice you brought yourself into the fivefold ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you what separates men from boys. There are many people who do not want to pay the price. It is a language that our ignorant, sadly, and arrogant generation does not want to hear. Sharp, sharp everything. It is only God that will tell you the amount of times I've finished this Bible you are seeing. My former Bible, you open it and you will think there's writing everywhere. Sometimes I will write all kinds of things there because you are studying to show yourself approved that's why you see me quote scriptures and i can tell you what another version says you try it if you think it's a gift it's not a, you know we have this idea that god just magically endowed you no the grace i'm not downplaying the grace of god i hope you get what i'm saying you want to command power authority over nations you are going to have to stay with god are you ready to invest it with the spirit you don't have a track record with the holy ghost listen to me you come out like this just playing games and for show you will only embarrass yourself for nothing it says but i know whom i have believed you came here tonight not just to meet god alone but you came here to meet men whose blood are dripping upon the altar. He said, let no man trouble me, for I bear upon my body. There is a scar that the realm of the spirit knows. Jesus I know, Paul I know, Joshua Selman I know. You, it is, it is with blood you signed that signature. He that cometh unto God, must come believing that he is the rewarder while you are fasting you know the rewarder is watching you while you are praying the rewarder is watching you somebody says come and bribe and become a director and you say no and for that reason your children pay the price for one year the rewarder is watching can I tell you if you do not know the rewarder compromise will look pleasant if you do not know the rewarder, all these cutting corners in ministry, you can stay, even if it's with five people, with joy. I know the rewarder is watching. You are training the five people as if you are preaching in a stadium, mentoring them because those five people are not your members. They are your leaders you are training. When your leaders are trained, members can now come. Are we together? Development is difficult. It took Jesus 18 years to be ready for ministry. 18, 1, 8. 18 years of actively building himself. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to throw away premature manifestation and premature exposure and get back to the place where men are made made for their destinies are we together now the stage is not for rehearsal the stage is for manifestation if you want to rehearse go to the wilderness you will be given a chance to kill the lion don't come and stand before goliath to try trial and error will destroy you goliath is not playing games learn with the lion learn with the bear and master the art of war when you stand before Goliath it is one one opportunity to bring him down listen you must master the mysteries of the presence of God you must master the mysteries of the anointing you must master the mystery of dominion. You must master the mysteries of influence. You must master the mysteries of the word of God. People will not just come and listen to you like that. Businessman, what have you read about business? Do you know the best people in your industry? Have you humbled yourself to learn from them? 
or you are wallowing in the pride of saying everybody is a colleague. Run away from colleague mentality. That's what has kept many people down in this our arrogant generation. Just because great men are humble does not mean they are stupid. Know where you stand and draw the line with honor. No matter how humble our fathers are, sometimes a particular father of faith, I will not mention the name, but when we have the privilege of talking, sometimes you can say, ah, yeah, you know, I'm speaking to an apostle now, and I just laugh. I say, ah, daddy, don't, don't say that. Oh, he's still your boy. And we're laughing. Most of you, as they say that kind of thing, you carry it as a compliment. That a pastor is speaking to an apostle. What, what, what foolish indoctrination. These are men who, their tears move heaven. And heaven will say, who is making you cry? Is someone learning? You own a school. It's time to stop clapping for yourself and sit down. How can I make it the best? How can this be the greatest? You own a business. You are in ministry. It's time to stop. You, you cannot be going up and down every, every program, every show you are there. Jumping from pillar to post and you want the anointing to work in your life? No. Samuel was called a seer. You didn't see him out every time, but when Samuel came out, people would know that God is about to say something because this guy has come out. Most of us have cheapened ourselves because you are everywhere doing everything. Hallelujah. When others are sleeping, you wake up in the night. Father, for the sake of my destiny, I love you, but you are a rewarder. I came from a family where no one has risen. And I heard my parents tell me that they tried. I have made up my mind that I will be that savior. Lord, for the next seven months, it is two hours with you every night. Zakos Katabrakata. While you are doing that, you are in your small room. Don't worry. The rewarder is watching. The rewarder is watching. I sense in my spirit that God gave me this message because in this season, the rewarder is going to move again. Move from family to family. Move from ministry to ministry. There are some of you, hear me, you have served for a very long time and it looks like nobody has noticed you. I'm telling you prophetically, do not feel bad. I'm saying this by the spirit of the living God. The rewarder is going to have a convocation and say, I remember you paid the school fees of a young man in 2015. Nobody saw you to say thank you, but I have come as a rewarder that your children will never beg again because of what you have done.